Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the channel. Join me today when we look at five must-see temples in Cambodia. The first temple that we're going to look at is Ta Keo, or Prasat Keo. It was built in the early 11th century by King Jayavarman V. It is located between Angkor Thom and the Eastern Baray. It is one of the tallest monuments of Angkor. The Ta Keo is a mountain temple built by Jayavarman V, founder at least of Angkor Thom. Its five sanctuaries are placed on top of a 22 metre high stepped pyramid from where there are good views of the surrounding area. The pyramid shaped Takeo was built to represent Mount Meru, the mountain that is the centre of the world in Hindu mythology. The massive sandstone monument dedicated to Shiva was left unfinished at the start of the 11th century. Work on the Takeo was halted at a time when sculptors began to add decoration to the temple. The reason why work stopped is not known. An inscription says that lightning struck the temple at one point, which was taken as a sign of bad luck upon which work was halted. More likely, it was because of the death of King Jayavarman V who commissioned the temple. Around the Takeo was a moat that represents the oceans surrounding Mount Meru, a paved walkway about 500 metres long towards the east with guardian lions on either side leads to a jetty on the large east barrage. The pyramid's first tier is surrounded by a sandstone wall with Gopura entrance gates on all four sides. On either side of the eastern Gopura is a room over 20 metres long that was likely used to provide shelter for travellers. The second tier of the pyramid is surrounded by galleries 80 metres long and 75 metres wide. The galleries have no doors and its windows open up to the inside of the temple. The Takeo is the first temple where surrounding galleries were present. Many of the Angkor temples that were built later copied this feature. The circular galleries are a continuation of the long halls of the earlier temples, like those of the pre rup The second temple we are going to look at is Angkor Wat. Originally constructed as a Hindu temple dedicated to the god Vishnu for the Khmer Empire by King Suryavarman II during the 12th century. It was gradually transformed into a Buddhist temple towards the end of the century. As such, it is also described as a Hindu Buddhist temple. This temple was commissioned by the Khmer king Suri Avaraman II and it was used as, as his state temple and eventual mausoleum. Angkor Wat combines two basic plans of Khmer temple architecture, the temple mountain and later the galleried temple. It is designed to represent Mount Meru, home of the divas in Hindu mythology within a moat more than 5 kilometres long and an outer wall of 3.6 kilometres long. There are three rectangular gal galleries, each raised above the next. At the centre of this temple stands a quincunx of towers. Unlike most Angorian temples, Angkor Wat is orientated to the west and scholars are divided as to the significance of this.
The third temple that we are going to look at today is Bante Kadai. This charming ancient temple located opposite the Grand Basin of Shra Shrang to which it was once connected. Built in the mid 12th to early 13th centuries during the reign of King Jayavarman VII. It is in the Bayon architectural style with a flat layout plan similar to the nearby Ta Prom and a short way to the north Priya Khan Temple. entrance is from the east, opposite Shra Shrang, while it is also possible to exit or enter via the western gate. The eastern gate is restored and the west only partially. Shortly after entering via the east gate, there is a hut that surrounds an excavation site where you can see a statue that has been left in the ground, partially exposed to showcase the archaeological finds made here. The highlights of the site are its ruinous charm, eastern terrace with naga and lions, the Gopuras, which are the gates, the Buddha statue in the East Gopura, the Hall of Dancers, pediment reliefs and the majestic tree on the western side, to name just some. fourth temple that we are going to visit today is the Wat Tamei Temple and this is known for one of the most memorable locations among all the killing field in Cambodia which took place during the Khmer Rouge regime since the 1970s. Civilians were living in fear hoping to be rescued. Some had a fortune to survive but millions did not and were left with only those skeletons that are displayed in the temple, which you will see later. This unforgettable history has been written and passed through until today. If you want to see the truth, the evidence of this nostalgic history, come visit the Wat Tamei Temple, the Killing Field. Whilst visiting Wat Tamei, you will see the open grounds contain a large prayer hall on the left as you enter, stupas and everything you'd expect of a typical modern pagoda. In the middle rests a single glass sided monument filled with the skulls and bones of victims collected by locals after the Khmer Rouge ready regime had ended. Wat Tamei is free to enter and there is also small shops on the grounds. It takes around 15 minutes to reach the pagoda from the centre of Siem Reap by Tuk Tuk and is en route to the other temples so can easily be included in the beginning or the end of a day's touring. The last temple that we are going to be looking at today is the East Mebon Temple. The East Mebon is a 10th century temple at Angkor, Cambodia. Built during the reign of King Rajan Dravarman, it stands on what was an artificial island at 
the centre of the now dry East Barai Reservoir. The East Mebon was dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva and honours the parents of the king. Its location reflects Khmer architects' concern with the orientation and cardinal directions. The temple was built on a north-south axis with Rajan Dravarman's state temple Prerup, located about 1200 meters to the south, just outside of the Barai. The East Mebon also lies on an east-west axis with the palace temple Femenakas, another creation of Rajendravarma's reign, located about 6,800 metres due west. Built in the general style of pre-Rup, the East Mabon was dedicated in 953 AD. It has two enclosing walls and three tiers. It includes the full array of durable Khmer construction materials, sandstone, brick, laterite and stucco. So these are a list of five must-see temples in Cambodia. They're not in any particular order and not the only ones I would see, they're just five that, that I would see. So if you're staying in Cambodia and in Siem Reap, all of these are easily accessible. You'll need to hire a tuk-tuk driver and you could get round these five in one day. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching till the end. I hope you've enjoyed the video and look out for my other videos that will be coming out very soon. So I'll see you all very soon and bye for now.